This story begins with dozens of hawks wheeling overhead in a bright sky as bird watchers huddled below train binoculars and cameras on this seasonal display. Ed Pike's been tracking the migratory movement of hawks, eagles, vultures, and owls in the Mackinac Straits area for decades. All the species have different times in the spring when they migrate, when there's more of them that migrate. It varies. Uh, for example, the eagles move early. The eagles move through uh, in March and early April. The red-tailed hawks are moving through right now. They, they start at the end of March, early April, and, and through into May. Uh, the broad-winged hawks don't start moving until late April and early May and, and through May. Pike is the chairman and co-founder of a nonprofit group called the Mackinac Straits Raptor Watch. This group of volunteers engages in scientific studies of migratory birds and doing public education. Here's the organization's secretary and co-founder, Kathy Bricker. Uh, the Mackinac Straits Raptor Watch is a nonprofit organization that learns about the migration of birds of prey. Raptors are birds of prey, so they include the hawks, the daytime raptors. It includes vultures that a lot of people don't even realize are raptors. And it includes nighttime birds, so, such as the owls. For birds migrating north, Michigan is like a big funnel guiding huge numbers of birds toward the Mackinac Straits as they look for the shortest distance across the Great Lakes. The information goes onto the, the website of the Hawk Migration Association of North America. They've set up a website that all of the hawk counts across the country put their data into. So there's a big database of information on the birds moving. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, many migratory bird populations are on the decline. Habitat loss is a particularly serious problem. Millions of migratory birds are also killed by striking buildings and other structures and attacks by domestic cats. Climate change is also a growing challenge, altering habitats and living conditions for birds throughout North America. What we're trying to do with the Mackinac Straits Raptor Watch is we're doing consistent uh, observations and surveys for the entire migration period. Over the long term, if we continue this for a long enough period of time, then we can get some ideas of what the bird populations are doing. Two years ago, Raptor Watch extended its observations and counting activities to water birds. Some people ask, what are we doing counting water birds? And the answer is because we realize nobody understands the numbers of, and the extent of their stay of water birds, such as loons, grebes, mergansers, eiders, scoters, um, that are coming through the Great Lakes. The surprising thing to me is the extent of time that we're finding key water birds and high water bird numbers. It, it's not just for a few weeks in the spring and a few weeks in the fall starts very early. As soon as ice off uh, comes, the water birds are using this route. And one of our concerns and one of the general public's concerns about the Straits of Mackinac is that there are two oil pipelines flowing right underneath the water. And it would be horrendous, not only to the tourism economy, which is very obvious, but also to the wildlife because there, at times there are 6,000 redhead ducks, which is a, a um, species of concern. Their, their numbers have declined greatly. And huge rafts of redheads that volunteers could not possibly get to in time to rescue these birds from oil. It would be a huge catastrophe. To help make all this documentation possible, Raptor Watch hires and trains bird counters, usually recent college graduates. To me, one of the side uh, benefits of doing this is to help jumpstart the careers of these young people because they're freshly out of college, they're trained in biology, and they're, many of them are trying to figure out what to do. Here's this year's water bird counter, Josh Yeager. Well, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to uh, see some birds I've never seen before, some birds I've never seen in this part of the world and also to get some, some firsts for the Mackinac Straits Raptor Watch as a water bird counter. In addition to water bird and raptor counters, 
Two other recent college graduates are hired to become nocturnal scientists with the OWL Research Program. To learn more, join Nature Change for part two of this series titled Ed Pike and the Owl Banders.